Okay, this section here, we're going to talk very briefly about doing the lathe setup. So we've already got the power on. We've got a power on to our DRO. Now what we can do is, is make sure that everything is set up the way it's supposed to be. Now in the shop manual, you will notice that uh, this compound right here should be set at 37 degrees. It is set at 37 degrees. Zero out here. Uh, once you've had this, uh, this compound flush with the end, uh, likewise over here, this is flush. That's where it's to be left. But once we go and to, to put a tool in here, we want to verify that, that this is straight. And let me show you how to do it in, in this section right here. We're going to grab our wrench off of, the, uh, <clears throat> off of the rack there. We're going to crack this loose the best that we can. And then we're going to bring our tailstock up until it just touches. Lock that into place. Extend our spindle out far enough to where we can get contact between these two surfaces. And then we're going to drive this thing right into place to where we get very close. And then the idea here is, is to make sure the surfaces are clean and then push it up against to make sure there's no daylight. Once there's no daylight at that point, we can snug that back down, take another little peek to verify, and go ahead and put our tools away. At this point, we're going to back off the X a little bit, and we're going to loosen this up and slide the tailstock out of the way. Now we know this is straight. The next thing that we can do is go ahead and select the tool for the job. So we're going to go ahead and select this profile cutter. We're not taking a heavy cut, so this is going to be perfect for what we're doing. We're going to make sure our surfaces are clean, and the surface is over here. We're going to slide that down and let it go right up to the stop, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, give it a little bump here to make sure that it is uh, securely fastened. In this case, this is almost ready to go. Now the only thing that we're concerned with is, is the tool tip height. Now there's several different ways to do this. Many, many of the people in the course have actually taken uh, this particular device here, put it up against something mounted in the spindle, and then by virtue of which way this is leaning will tell you whether it's high or low. If it is tipped in like this towards the part, and let me get the part, if the tool pushing on this is actually leaning in this direction, then that means that the tool is too high. If it's leaning in this direction, that means the tool is too low. This is pretty good for getting it close. Uh, however, machining is the best way to find out because then you'll really know. But you don't want to start out too far off. And so what I recommend doing uh, to, to all of those that, um, that ask me is I go ahead and make sure that this shank is clean, make sure that the bore is clean. I go ahead and install a center. And then what I do is, is I bring it up, okay, and I don't want to slam anything into my tool because I can break it. But then what I'm doing is, is taking a real close look and I'm going to get down on its level okay and I'm going to take a look at the tool tip all right and make sure that it lines up with the height of this particular um, center as well now if that lines up then I'm okay if not I need to bump this loose and I need to make adjustments to this nut here up or down to make sure that the tool tip is lining up appropriately then I can snug it back down and simply just slide this out of the way and get ready for the next operation all right so once we've done that now we're going to go ahead and move on to loading our part. We're going to load the part really quickly, and then we're going to start. Uh, we're going to stop the video so that we can start up at another place on how to set those RPMs. So very quickly, we're going to take our part, make sure that there's no major burrs on it. This is a, a part that I cut off earlier. It is uh, three and five eighths long. It's going to be the project that we make. I'm going to go ahead and stick this into the spindle, and um, it should not. Anything shouldn't be sticking out uh, more than twice the diameter. So we're going to go ahead and stick this out a very little bit because we don't. We all, all we're going to do is face it off, and we're going to make sure that it's nice and snug in there. And we're going to put that back down. Uh, at this point, we can go ahead and bring the carriage over and get it close to our part and in preparation for the next step.